This is the Wolf Airsoft review of the Aimtop SVD gas blowback sniper rifle. This particular model of the Aimtop SVD I HBA tapped. I will make a later on a later date. I'll make a video on how to do so. I highly recommend you HBA tap this gun, as it is very gas inefficient and uh, you know, the HBA will help with consistency. As you can see, it's very real, very nice looking gun. It's um, based off the real SVD 7.62 semi-automatic sniper rifle created by the Russians in, I don't know, like the 1960s. Um, as you can see, the magazine, I HBA tapped it. Uh, you have your gas release, your uh, BB holder, and if that will focus, where you latch onto uh, with the gun. Come on, come on. I believe in you, focus, okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Nope, nope. Oh, all right, there we go. Now we're, now we're in focus. That's the release valve right there. We have the latch, the tap. If, as you can see, I actually milled the bottom plate. Um, that's also where it goes into the gun. We have a polymer stock, a thumb hole stock, very comfortable to hold, very nice. Uh, this particular one is black. Uh, now we have the upper receiver. We have it's full metal, it's unfortunately it's low quality metal. Uh, bolts right there. Uh, you have your safety trigger. Um, then on the inside, you'll have your internals. On the back side of this, we now have the rail, just kind of stamped metal. Just looks nice. Now we have the handguard, which is also polymer. Um, I can show you how to remove that at a later date in a future video. We have a full metal barrel, very, very long. Um, we have the flash hider, orange tip, and now we have the internals. You have the rod, or the control rod, or whatever it's called, the recoil spring, the bolt, the sear, trigger, everything you need. I'll just make a future video on how this works. We is a very nice gun overall, very powerful, very accurate. I just would say get it. All right, so at 45 feet, I hit the target 13 times. Now, I know that's not good for a 22 round magazine, but it is raining slightly, and there was a slight breeze, and I was basically hit firing. I looked on the site, so I had a gun and started firing with my head up, so I could see where the BBs were going, so it's my first time firing point forth with this gun. And there were, oh, actually, make that 14. I hit one right there. I didn't count that. Um, I, a lot were hitting the bush in front of me, that little tiny shrub, and the ground as I was trying to get on target. But once I finally got on target, it was consistent here. It was very consistent right here. I hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shots right here. Now, the outskirts, I hit one down here. Sorry, one down here. There's a bad shot. One here, which was also kind of bad. Bad, bad. And these two were kind of taken by the wind. Um, so that was pretty good for all the shots I got. Um, now, if I could back it up to 100 feet, I would. By four grand BBs, for 20 PSI, and top SVD, with the 22 shots, which is just god awful. I, I, I know. Actually, the first test I hit, pretty sure I hit more than the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
11. All right, so that was only hit 11 the first time. So that was not a very good test, but mind you, it was raining and there was a slight breeze and it was hip firing and there's fun. I'm going to do a quick wrap up of what you can do for the Antop SVP and just a little more about it. The Antop SVD uses the Dragonop 2 system, which means it's compatible with all Dragonop 2 parts, external parts, sorry, I should say. Let me correct myself, external parts. And I think the hop-up unit as well, um, and the barrel. The barrel is an AEG cut barrel. I get this 650 millimeter, uh, 650 millimeter 6.01 type or inner barrel. That's what you need to get. I would recommend it. I mean, the gun already shoots fine, but because of the minor barrel wobble, you might want the 6.01 for that extra accuracy. Disadvantage, the barrel wobble. Like I just said, you need to rub candle wax around the outside of the barrel, and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. Um, green gas. I'm going to say this right now. Gas, green gas gas blowback suck. Always HPA attack your gas blowback, guys. If it's green gas, it a rifle, a rifle, especially a sniper rifle where it's it drains the gas after 12 shots. Let's put it like that. That's how gas inefficient this gun is. Do not buy this gun unless you want to HPA tap it. I mean, on a hot day, I mean, the problem is with the green gas, it's so inconsistent, you could be shooting 490 FPS without realizing it. That's the problem. Um, now, what I use in this gun, actually now I'm gonna start using them, are the Nonrich .40 gram BBs. They are very powerful, or they are very accurate, they are bright, they are, Easiest thief through your sight, just perfect BBs. Conference is not paying me to do this, nor is Aimtop, nor is Ninja. Next up thing you can do for your SVD is get the PSO1 scope. It is an illuminated Russian style scope with a PSO1. It's based is a replica scope based off the real PSO1 scope. Now it has a rangefinder for a 1.7 meter tall man. Uh, it's very clear. It's a 4x24 scope. I'm pretty sure it's a 4x24 scope. I know it's four times magnification. I'm pretty sure it's either 4x24 or 4x22. This is the $160 one. Get the $160 one. It's a lot better than the $120 one. Just because it's a lot clearer. Let's put it like that. The $40 makes a difference. Now, one thing I don't like is all the silver. It messes, messes, messes up the flow of the gun. But I'm ordering the silver bolt to compensate with that. Um, it's illuminated, crystal clear, great scope. HPA system is a Ninja 3000 PSI 48, uh, 3000, or 3000 by 48 PSI, whatever, PS, PSI tank or tank. I use a Ninja low pressure regulator. It's perfect for your Polar Star or your SED or gas blowback because you really don't need to be using more than 140 psi. Honestly, I mean, with a Polar Star, what you're running 80, 70 ps, 70, 80 psi. This is perfect. So you'll the only regulator you'll ever need. Same thing with the tank, unless you somehow damage it and you'll want to kill yourself. Because you don't want to explode. Next thing, the magazines. HPA tap them. Um, I'll make another video on how to do so. It's fairly simple. You'll need to do a little bit of modification to your magazine to do it, but it's not a significant amount. It will severe. It'll help your gun significantly. Oh, one more thing about the magazines. BBs are hard to load. I hurt, my finger hurts when I'm done loading 12 shots, let's put it like that. There's 22 in here. You have to load them in one by one. The speed loader does not work. Don't buy the speed loader, I wasted $5. I threw it in the forest at my local field because I got pissed at it. Um, that's all I can say about this gun, guys. It's a good gun. If people give it a bad rep, 
because I mean the nozzles do have an intent, we do have a do tend to have problems. The nozzle is a cheap, just plastic nozzle, but keep it lubricated, keep your gun lubricated, keep it in good condition, clean it after every game. If you've been gone and you haven't used it like a month, it's just been sitting in a, your room or in a gun case or somewhere. Open it up and clean it out. Get out all the dust, get out all that filthy oil, clean it, then shoot it. It will work fine. Now, I personally bought two spare nozzles for the gun. Just in case one blew up on me during a game, I can replace it. So it's not a big deal if a nozzle explodes for me. I recommend you do the same. Get at least two or three new nozzles, which you can get off Evike. Evike's not paying me to do this either. Well, that's all I have to say about this video, guys. And the AIMTOP SVD, I recommend you get it. USB and tap it. It'll be perfect. This has been Wolf. Oops. This has been Squirrel from Wolf Airsoft West Command. I hope to see you on the field one day or on our team. Uh, I'll include a link in the description of the video on how to join our team. Fill out a resume. And if you're there is not a local Wolf Airsoft team near you, and you have friends who want to join your team or team you can become a chapter of our team and you'll be a branch of our team um, and at a big milsim we all squat up and that's how this our team is based there will be more information about this on our website visit it in the link in the description below thank you for tuning in guys see you on the field